If 12 is the most commonly drawn lotto number, should you pick it? Let's find out. From convenience store to casino floor, from how it spins to why you win. I'm Zach. And I'm Lisa. And we're diving deep into the games we love to play by taking you behind the jackpot with PlaySmart. Unpacking Lottery Odds. So when I pick my lottery numbers, I always use my favorite number, 15. And I always play the same set of numbers. But the truth is, it doesn't matter what numbers you play. They're all up against the same odds. Odds can be a tricky thing to explain. And since math isn't exactly our strong suit, <laughs> we got in touch with an actuary to help us out. Hi, my name's Ahmed. I'm an actuary, kind of like a math expert. All right, Ahmed, break it down for us. A good way to explain odds is to use a deck of cards. We're just going to pick all the hearts out. Okay. I'm going to randomly pick out three cards. One possible combination I could have selected is a six, a 10, and maybe a jack. I could have also selected perhaps a four, a three, and a two. There are 286 different ways of me selecting three cards out of 13, which means that your odds of selecting exactly the same three cards that I selected is one out of 286. And lottery odds work the same way, just on a larger scale. In Lotto 649, there are nearly 14 million unique combinations of six numbers ranging from 1 to 49. And if I picked all six numbers correctly, I'd win the jackpot. But you can also win a smaller prize by having only five, four, three, or two correct numbers. So if 12 is the most drawn lotto number, what does that tell us? Well, all it's telling us is that in the past, it has come up more often than any other number. So in the future, the most likely number might be 30, or it might be 15. Which is my favorite number, because it's my birthday. It does keep it fun, but that has no bearing on your odds. It doesn't mean those numbers are going to help you win in any way. It's purely random. That being said, winning with your birthday makes for a better story. Yeah, it just doesn't change the odds. Speaking of which, odds are we might call you again for a future episode. Well, this was great. Thank you for having me. If you've got a gambling topic you want us to deep dive into, leave a suggestion in the comments below.